How to change sound and visuals with the same MIDI controller. First, open Preferences in Ableton and ensure that Remote Control is enabled for your MIDI controller. Then click the MIDI button at the top to assign parameters of your choice to the controller. Next, head over to your Touch Designer project and open the MIDI Device Manager under Dialogs. Create a new mapping, select your MIDI device, and add a user map. Move the encoders on your controller and copy the messages to the map. Select your preset under the device mappings. Now you can create a MIDI and map chop in your project and get data from your controller. Connect it to a select chop, choose the encoder you want to use, and add a math chop to define the value range. Finish with a null chop. Repeat this process for other encoders. You can also assign the same encoder to multiple paths for added flexibility. Finally, reference the chops to the parameters you want to control. Now your encoders are mapped in both Ableton and Touch Designer without needing to create a direct connection between the two programs.